What is going on Patreon? Today we're going to show you how to clean out your Camelback. Just to kind of give you a brief explanation, a Camelback is nothing more than a water pouch that is meant to hold water, right? It's just a convenient way to hold water and there's a little um, tube here that you can actually drink your water out of, right? It's just a very convenient way to get water while you're hiking, rucking, running. Uh, to start things off, you would just take off your top there comes right off and we have our back piece here remove that and then here we have the actual bladder um, this one here is two liters so it can hold two liters of water and to actually remove it from the pouch itself the camelback pouch um, we got a little clip right there we're gonna take our pouch and actually pull it over our clip and as we do that it's going to allow us to slide the entire bladder out from the pouch itself There we go there's our bladder here is our pouch All right so we can set this out of the way because we are done with this for now this pouch is a two liter pouch we like to use bleach when we do this uh, you do not have to use bleach right um, if you want to you can use vinegar if you want to use some very very hot water you could always do something like that as well right so do not feel pressured that you have to use bleach or something like that um, but we use bleach because bleach kills things that we don't like. Before we actually start cleaning this, we have to take it apart, right? So we want to remove our lid and you have your little filter right here, your little nozzle that you bite down on to get your water. Just go ahead and twist that off. It'll pop right off. Then we want to slot our end piece off. If you just want to put this back in there temporarily so you don't lose it, feel free to do so. We're going to take off the fabric cover. The reason why we do this is to make sure that we can see if there's any mold buildup in here or anything like that. And so just do it. You know, just imagine a, um, imagine a slinky almost, right? Where you push it up here. So now as you push it up, you slide it down. And then once you get to a point, it will slide right off. So now we're just left with the bladder itself and the hose. Put our mix in here to clean this. Now what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna run this through with some warm water, not hot water, just some warm water. that's moderately warm I'm gonna take our hose here I'm gonna lift it up above our bladder filled and this is how we're actually going to run our water through and again this is a two liter bladder but this is how we're going to run through and get our hose clean we're just going to press down like that and you can see the water coming out of our hose now as you can imagine you don't want to crank down on this because you don't want to damage anything you don't want to damage your connection down here you don't want to ruin the bladder itself. Just take your time with it and the water will release. And this is also a very good way to actually check uh, four leaks in your bladder if you think your bladder is leaking. And 
And then of course to actually clean your bladder itself, you would get your liquid and you can just plug this hole up and then shake the, your bladder back and forth. And then as you can see, it's getting mixed up pretty good in there and you can actually hold it by this little plastic piece to make sure you get all in the bladder. You can do this with vinegar if you wish. Um, I like to do it with bleach because bleach kills the things that we don't like. So whenever we talk about bleach for purification purposes or cleaning purposes, um, this is especially true for purifying water, it's in the measurement of drops, right? So whenever we talk about, uh, let's say five drops of bleach, that's equivalent to a quarter teaspoon, right? Which will tell you that if you get 10 drops of bleach, that's equivalent to half a teaspoon, right? The important thing to notate, and this is just a general rule of thumb when we talk about purifying water, whatever bleach that you are using, make sure that you know the percentage of the active bleach, right? Um, so general rule of thumb is that if you do not know the active amount of bleach in there, you would put 10 drops of bleach per liter. That's a lot. So make sure you know what you're working with. Now this here with the Clorox, um, it actually tells us right here. So if you look closely, it says yields 7.1% available chlorine. So 7.1%. Now that is considered the sweet spot because if you have bleach anywhere between 5.25% or 8.25%, you're actually putting five drops per one liter right five drops per one liter which in this case we have a two liter bladder so we're gonna put in ten drops and ten drops is equivalent to what half a teaspoon right well it just so happens that we have a half a teaspoon right here that's pretty perfect let's get our bladder and then we can add our water in here again our mildly warm water as you can see we do have our tube out of the way I got it cinched up on the cabinet right now stuck in the cabinet so that works and then we'll just take our bladder on each end Let's just shake it up and let me actually again go ahead and grab it. It's about right there. We have to pass it through our hose. Alright, we'll get another one going, another round. There's our bleach. Then we'll grab our hose. So now we're going to dump this out. We're going to add in that mild water again. And this is where we actually remove the bleach residue. If you want to add more bleach, you definitely can, but do it at your own risk because you could slowly be poisoning yourself. So, um, which is one of those things, right? Which is why people use vinegar. The only problem with vinegar, as you guys know, um, vinegar only kills about 80% of species of mold. Um, it does not kill all species of mold. So if there's mold in here, if there's mold spores in here, um, if you use vinegar, um, depending on those mold spores, you will not kill the mold that's in here. That is why I like to use bleach, because bleach kills things that we do not like. Um, vinegar kills most things that we do not like.
We'll do a hot water pass through. As the uh, final rinse and the final shake. Alright, so let's go ahead and shake this up. Now we're going to get on to our end piece and get that cleaned up. Now I thought I'd show you guys this just in case it bothered you. Uh, so we have hard water here, you guys know that. Um, and hard water will leave calcium deposits. Um, it leaves it on like our jars when we pressure can, all that fun stuff. Uh, so what you can do to kind of help get rid of those calcium deposits is just get yourself a little bit of vinegar, which is what we have here. And just pour a little bit into your camelback. You don't need a lot. That right there is plenty. Just going to add a little bit of water. We'll shake that around and that'll knock loose any of those calcium deposits that we do not want in our camelback. The only real downside of using vinegar is that your um, your bladder might taste like vinegar, right? The water in there. So just make sure to rinse out a little bit, a little extra. And again, that will help get rid of those calcium deposits that you have in your bladder. They're not going to hurt you, you know. Calcium's not going to hurt you. You're not gonna get the crazy amount of blood clots from hard water, right? That's not a thing. All right, and we'll press the water through here. And even on the outside, you can see like the bits of calcium deposits right there. Vinegar. wipe it down and the deposits go away. Hang it up and let it dry. Um, I will get a rag. I'm going to go in here and just kind of dry it out as best I can. And then after that, I'll just let it hang dry. All right. And so now we're going to clean our end piece, really the interior. We've got to clean the interior of this thing. And then also the actual nozzle itself that we use to get our water. We've got to make sure that is uh, relatively clean. So we'll just use a tad bit of bleach. We don't have to use a lot. that on the outside and the inside. So this thing is effectively clean. Now you can go a step further. Again, if you're worried about the calcium deposits and you can just take your vinegar, pour some vinegar in here. So I kind of run through there. Now there's no uh, excess um, material or chemicals on here. It's just my hand and the material. Rinse that off. Nice and clean and again, right, there's no excess material on here, which is again what we want. So I'm going to put this right next to our camelback and let it dry. And last but certainly not least, the end piece itself, put some bleach in there. Close it, get bleach all around the edge right there. 
let that bleach run through, getting nice and bleachy. And then we'll get our vinegar and throw our vinegar in there. Through. Start off again, and there we go. Squeaky clean. We're going to put our bladder back into our Camelback pack. Let's go ahead and slide our bladder back in our main pouch. bottom piece through there wrap that around the bladder and this is the part where it does fit kind of tight I'm going to slide that over that clip slide it over that and we are good to go getting our sleeve on our hose. The material here is a neoprene, I believe. But you can see the material right there. And there's a few ways you can slide this on here. One way is you can use a dish soap or Vaseline, some type of lubricant, and you can slide it on here. You can also use a water, right? If you soak this thing in water, you can slide it on there as well. And then um, the last method, which uh, seems to be one of the most difficult methods, is to take a tube that's a little bit thicker than the neoprene itself. So let's say like my finger, right? So comparing my finger to the hose, it's a little bit thicker than the hose, right? So if I were to put my finger in the neoprene like this, see how it's expanded a little bit? And so you would do that with a tube going all the way down here. And then as you slide this on neoprene, you would slide that tube back. But as you can imagine, um, it would get stuck on the hose because of that material. So we're going to just wet this first. We're going to wet the interior of the neoprene. And we're just going to slide it right on there. We're going to see how it goes. I'm wetting the top of the hose right here. See if I can show you guys like this. There we go. So wet the hose, wet the neoprene, and I slide it on there. And so what you'll have to do is you'll have to actually slide it from the bottom. And use that force to slide up the neoprene. We are just about done. I had a little clip here to kind of maintain the amount we've already slid so that way I can just grab the, uh, the top right here, the seam, and then just pull it back and then just slowly slide that back. Trying to keep it nice and taut. Until we get back here, which we're almost done as you can see. So we'll just run our water a little bit more. And there we are. So we have our neoprene covering our entire line. And all we used was water. So we are good to go there. Now obviously we want this to dry out, right? We obviously want this to dry out so we can let this hang dry once again, make sure there's no water in our tube, which 
There is not. And if you have to, just kind of push that neoprene back a little bit. There we go. And with our cover, our piece, we're going to take our squeeze valve here on the end. I'm just going to slide it right over the top of that. And there we go. Good to go. Ready to use. That is how you disassemble your camelback, clean your camelback, put your camelback back together, and then of course put your neoprene sleeve on your hose, which is good to have because again, this helps to make sure that the hose right here, which is going to go back in the camelback pack itself, uh, does not get damaged and the bladder is nice and flat as it should be we have plenty of neoprene going in the back there so nothing is actually hanging out and we are good to go